Well, MJ, we're on the train again. And now we're going to New Haven, Connecticut to work on the new horror film, The Severed In, from Legion Films. Yep. Is that right, MJ? I just said, yep. Yep. And wasn't it quite an issue to find this seat? We kept going back and forth, like, then the whole train kept bumping into seats and we couldn't find anything. We thought we were going to have to stand back in the... Luggage area. And luggage. then there was one area that was, like, for handicap, and mm -hmm. then, like, somebody ended up sitting in it anyway. Yeah, except they, actually, these are probably the best seats we've ever had. No, because they're, like, here and then I'm across from you. There's, and there's room. I know. The only thing is, you don't have a tray table for your snacky poos. You okay with that? That's fine. I'll just put it here. Yeah. But that would be bad. You don't want to spill on the seat and then someone sits in mustard. Hmm. What are those on your neck, MJ? Oh, these. There's a story behind them. Behind each one. I gave them to you. Ooh! Shaky, MJ. Be careful. You don't want to get any more hickeys on your neck. Go, go, come on. Let's go. Go. We're going at like 90 miles an hour. Yeah, I know. Go, go. Well, here I am in the train, and I'm in the bigger handicap bathroom, which is the bigger one. It's like, I think, well, like the very, very last car of this train. As far down as you can, so if we get to the food, you have to walk all this way. Ooh, MJ, what'd you get? A hot dog and a sandwich? Are you that guy from Diners, Drivers, and Dives, and appropriately hot touching all the food? With a hot dog and a sandwich? And some mustard? MJ. So, MJ, what are we doing right now? Going over the script. Yes. I was not sure how many pages, like Squim Fly. Well, show. So like here's all, some of it. Like all that. There's even more of that. Yep. How are you enjoying this train ride? That's. I don't know about you, but there's something about this train today. It smells like every car smells like something different. The one car smelled like salami. The other car smelled like Bud Duke. This car smells like, you know, really bad things. They all have a, a stench. For a while, this one smelled like oh, some kind of a, a mean fart. I know, it's like, what's going on? I don't remember I don't remember it like that last time, do you? No, we fully gone through New York already? Yeah. Wow. There's like the whole train. Let's go outside. For a while you can see stuff. I know. You can't really see much right now. Some great sights. No. Oh. Oh. MJ, I don't think uh, we wanted to get some more snacks, another drink and stuff. I don't think it's gonna happen. There's like, isn't there like all these like partying dudes that are like 40 something acting like the young guys are like, yeah, yeah they're acting that's like they're in, in high school. High they're school all drinking dudes. beer, playing cards, and playing cards. They're like getting crazy. Yeah, and it's, it's crowded there constantly. Plus, we're running out of time. We got to get ready. Tell everybody about soon. though the woman that serves the food. Yeah, she's not like it's not like this one butt that was here the last time. It was this dude. It wasn't. At least it wasn't him. But this woman who's here now, she's really into what she's doing. I mean, she's really onto the food. It's dumb. It's like when I ask for a sandwich, it's like, can you say, do you want to see what you do? You want it cooked or do you want it not cooked? Do you want it fresh? I'm like, no, I'd like it cooked. It's like, do you know what about your hot dog? Do you want your hot dog cooked or do you want it not cooked? I'm like, cooked. Do you remember the stuff about the condiments? He's like, so I said, what kind of condiments do you want with your hot dog and with your sandwich? Would you like some pepper with your sandwich or would you like some mustard with your sandwich? With your hot dog? Would you like to mess up with your hot dog? Would you like some pepper with your hot dog? Don't forget to get it because it's plain. Don't forget to get it because it's plain. Don't forget to like a hot dog with the sandwich. But, but I like them separately. Sometimes people like the hot dog on the sandwich. <laughs> Would you like... You have to spend an awful lot of time here, don't you? Yeah, I spent all day, every day for 70's week for the last, for the last 40 years on the same twin. <laughs> okay, MJ. <laughs> Well, MJ, here we are again in these Star Wars, Star Trek kind of tunnels. Yeah, more like Star Wars. Ooh. Yeah, they really are like that. Aren't they also like something from the true 70s? Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, MJ, you know where we are right now? Yep, on the set. set of The Witcher Massacre. No, I'm just kidding. We're yeah, actually the on The Witcher Massacre didn't have a Samsung TV on the wall. But doesn't this look like the set of, you know, John, our friend John Bride's Witcher Massacre? Yeah, I wish I was on that set. Especially certain shots, like right there, and then like this one over here looks a lot like it, like right there. It's really weird. But we're in this really cool house, mm -hmm. where is the setting for the B&B scenes, the bed and breakfast scenes. 
And we'll have to show the guy who looks who's, who plays our father, who actually looks so much like my dad. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, well, be, you'd be the judge. Yeah, you'd be the judge when you see. Anything you want to say, MJ? Green. Don't those have like a, a unique look to them? Like how they're like really far up like that? And don't you sort of like? Don't they kind of remind you in a weird way of Robin Hood? Which one? Like you know how it goes up like that? Doesn't it remind you of like the Robin Hood movie? Which one? the original Kevin Costner oh, one? Oh, that I don't think I saw that one all the way oh, through. Oh, you didn't. I remember um, the Disney yeah. one, and then Robin Hood Men in Tights from Mel Brooks. You're not missing a whole lot. Do you remember Robin Hood and the King of the... Remember that one? I do now. Oh. Well, MJ, here we are outside of the BNB house. And that's, you know, where the Witcher Master looking basement is. Yep. And now we've got to, you know, apply the makeup to cover up all those hickeys. Yeah, well, they're sort of fixed. I don't know why... You know, why did you Gal Pal have to give you those? I don't know. Neither do I, MJ. And Gal Pal means me. So, MJ, are you eating some pizza pie on the deck? Yeah, how are you doing, MJ? I know how much you love being seen eating pizza pie on the deck. So, you know how we never see your room? Are we in your room right now? Yeah. Wow, man. I, I'm, why did you like yellow? It's my secret grave. Why don't set. Well, here we are in the hotel room. MJ, you gotta get up now, it's late. It was very. It was late last night. MJ, it's 1:45. MJ, you've got to get up. Come on, MJ, get up now. Come on. Here's the room, and this room actually has Direct TV. Yeah, Direct TV. So they have all these other channels, which is interesting. Come on, MJ, we got to go get something to eat. Let's go to the market, MJ. Come on, get up, MJ. Hi, MJ. Well, these vending machines last night, weren't these like the biggest issues in the world? But like, they had something that we really wanted, and this, neither of them worked. So we had to go to this like, Sunoco, Sunoco yeah. and like, it was like a bulletproof glass in front of it, so we were like, huh? It was a very strange experience. Yep. So, I'm gonna go over to the market and get something to eat. Thank Let's go, MJ. What a beautiful shot. MJ, you wanna take a you wanna take a dip in the pool? I'm not much of an outdoor pool person. You're not? No. Oh. But well, why? Not everybody is. Let's show how fun of this hotel is. See how like this one area is like this? But then this area is like the outside way. Isn't that funny? Aren't you glad we're in the inside part? Yep. I like that type better. You know, there's the sun and there's bugs and crap and indoor pools are way better. Fine, MJ. Get out of the shot. MJ, look at that market. It's a price charger. Have you ever heard of that before? No, price chopper. Have you ever heard of that before? I don't think we have in our state. I know, I don't. Price cheaper. What did you say, MJ? What did you say? I'm like craving these. These cookies? see the red and the green ones. I used to eat those ones when I was a kid. Look at this market. It's like, what an inspiring place. It's got like a... Fresh fields kind of look to it. You know what I'm talking about? It's wearing in here and the temperature's perfect. I know. Really MJ, I've kind of figured out, you know what this place probably is? What? It's like their Wegmans. Yeah, it's more like... It's, it's like, like over there. It's over there. They had like a cheese thing and a sushi thing and a seafood thing Wegmans, over there. And Wegmans, you can eat there. I'm wondering if you can eat here too. I don't, probably not. Wegmans is like, that's it's one like of those a, like signature things. It's not a, a restaurant, but it's like a supermarket slash Walt well, Market where you can eat. I know. It's a nice market, though. Really? We do not have these, though, really in cool Maryland. If there, if there is one, we have never come across it. Maybe it's in like a, a different corner of Maryland we haven't really gone too much. Where, where exactly are you from? The Upper West Side? The Upper West Side. Then. No, no photographs, please. No, they are available in the gift shop, eh? Look, they even have like $5 DVDs and stuff in here. This is definitely like a Wegmans, but like laid out in a cooler way. 
magazines. Wow, MJ, you got a lot of friendly food. So we're going back to the hotel to scarf this down. The night's in. You know, MJ, isn't it so funny how we were just talking about Ghostbusters 2? Mm -hmm. Well, we were referencing it. Then we come back to the hotel and they're playing it. I know. On the TV. Of course, we have to watch it. I know. And what was funny too, they had this ad for like, get dial up internet. And then right afterwards, they're like, are you tired of bad dial up internet? It was like, what? It was, was a good great. commercial placement. <laughs> that was great. Like, like that, like, who would ever think to put them together like that? What fool would like dial up internet though? I know, but the first commercial wanted you to get dial up internet. And the next the one's second like, commercial said, get that, rid of that crap dial up internet. It's like tired of that crap. It's like, well, get good, you know, high speed internet. I don't know. How weird is that? Comcast or something good. I don't know. Oh, damn it! God, the soap's in my eyes! Ugh, damn it! Ugh. <laughs> I'm from the show V. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste my time with that. I'm a Ghostbuster. If you need carpet and don't see bills, you're making a big mistake! <laughs> well, the crew's all in there. We just did our one scene in the hotel room. Yep, I think it went really well. I know. And you know, it's funny as you may say, oh, there's a lot of cars out here. Well, not all these cars are for the... These are all the cast and crew. Yeah, they're not, none of them are staying here. I know, it's just probably good they got a hotel, motel that wouldn't be that busy. But isn't there a few things about this hotel that are kind of like a money pit hotel? It's like things fall apart and the one toilet was running for like an hour straight. There's a bunch of stuff that happened. Did you tell them when there's the hair dryer? Like you went to take it off first when you took it, like the base where that you take it off of, the whole thing fell came off the, off wall. the wall. And, and then, then when you plugged it, it in, it started like burning. firing. I think was smoke almost came out of it. Like you would have shirt and flames out of it. Then um, the toilet was like almost overflowed. Then the toilet kept running in the water. And then like the ceiling was peeling. And what else? I think um, the beds might questionably have bugs in them. Bed <laughs> the bugs. floor is filthy. Yeah, like my feet are all like dirty on the bottom from like walking around. There's a few other things. Like it's almost like a joke, like a set. It's almost like a like a poor set. I know. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How you doing, Dad? Good, good. How are you, son? See? see? Yeah. This is great. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. Oh, Dad. <laughs> MJ? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm driving this kick ass truck. What's your language, MJ? It's like a truck in Home Alone. Oh, oh no, it's like. Too. Do a Home Alone line. Like, I don't get it. I was like, place is jumping. Now it looks like there's nobody home. What's up, neighbor? Check it. Yeah. Now? No, tomorrow. Hey, head now. Go ahead. MJ? Yeah. That was a terrible impression. MJ, MJ, what are you doing? My your own business. MJ, it's the air conditioner. Don't try and fake it. We're now in front of the hot dog stand. Yeah, it's uh, quite different than we thought. Go inside and get some hot dogs, MJ. Go ahead. I love hot dogs. Go ahead. Go inside? Yeah, move it or lose it. Alright, fine. You coming too? Alright. Alright, I'll carry them all out for you then. All right, maybe you will come in. Whose gigantic waters are those? Mine. MJ, this was supposed to be a picture. Why are you doing it? Why is this a video? I don't Stop know. Stop that. I'm trying to hold still like Stop that now, MJ. MJ, yeah. those are the doo-wop singers over there, right? They're amazing. They're such great guys. I know. They said I could be their lowest singer. When they said lowest, they meant they're the worst. No, meaning you have the lowest voice. No, MJ, they, they didn't want to tell you. They told me, they said, your, your voice for singing is awful. And they said they don't want to ever see you again. They said if he ever comes by us again, we're going to kick him in the butt cheeks. They said that. They said they said that part to you to kind of confuse you and make you think that, that they liked you, but they didn't. Why on earth would you do that? To make you feel special. MJ, yeah. what are you doing out here at this factory? 
my new job. Go over there and cut that marble. So, uh, what do you do at this job with this marble? Well, I make stuff out of it. Um, one day I'm going to live on a planet where everything is marble. The castles and the, the lands and... The seas. The seas. Tom Wyckoff's basement. No, it's cardboard. Oh. You know, well, we make cardboard houses. Oh. And a beautiful brick exterior. Oh, let's walk around a little bit. What, what do you think this is over this way? Like, what do you think that is? Have you been wondering half the day? I think it might be like either a school or a motel or something. I do not know and I don't think we'll ever know. Never. Never. You'll never know. You'll never ever know, Mickey. Never. Never. Never make it. Never make it. Never make it. Boss, you can make it. No, Mickey. No, Mickey. And you think, ask, let's ask anyone if they know what movie this is. No, Mickey. I bet no one will know that, though. No. MJ, why yeah. is your shirt uh, off, MJ? Well, if you can, why not? This is a, a cool place. Yeah, I can hang out here for quite a while. Maybe walk, you know, eat some, eat some sandwiches, watch some Gilligan's Island. You know, live life. MJ, you look disgusting with that shirt off. People like want to see people, you with your shirt off. People would much rather see me. Yeah, I'd like to see that. I'm sure they would. Everyone, if you'd like to see, rather see me, please comment. Please do. Oop. Hey, MJ. MJ, you have got to try my ambrosia salad. Mmm. How is it? Good. It's very really good. I'm not finished. Hey, MJ. Hey. How crapped out are you? On a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. Well, I'm not really tired, but crapped out about a seven, eight maybe. Whoa. You probably ten, I'll bet. Yes. Yeah, this a whole bunch of scenes of us sitting in the truck. A little fun fact for all of you: this is how I was wearing this. So, in spite of the fact that it might have been a real serious uh, scene, it was quite ridiculous because I was sitting like this the whole time. Just with that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I had to lower my knees, otherwise you would have seen my stupendous swim trunks. MJ. Oh. Well, MJ, how's it going? Pooped out. Ooh, so about how long have we been up today? I'd say about, well, I woke up at 7 in the morning, probably, I don't know, like 16 to 17 hours. And we shot like, what, 14 scenes today or something? Is that yeah. I think people are going to really like this movie, though, don't you? Yeah. I can't wait till you all get to see it. How pooped out are you, MJ? On a scale of 1 to 10, probably about 10. This what did you say? I said on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 10. 10? 10. 10? 10? 10. 10. 10. Wow, MJ. And how have you enjoyed this room? I love that we've had a lot of fun inspiring experiences in this room. What? what? You said we've had a lot of fun inspiring experiences in this room. Be quiet about that. Well, MJ, I should let everyone know, though, that um, the towels, I don't think have been changed. And I think they might have given us some bad dish towel, hand towels. One of them looked like it had something containing the butt duke. And I don't think the sheets have been changed. And that pillow your head is on right now? You know what year it was the last time it was washed? What? 1987. I think and, I can move all of a sudden. And you know who, who was the person who laid on that seat? Who? Dan Aykroyd. <gasps> Ooh! That's kidding. He laid his butt cheeks there and farted. <laughs> well, we're here with the director, Mark Foley, who we've not shown on camera yet. And um, is there anything you wanted to say about the film? Uh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, Sean and MJ have added a lot to it. Uh, without them, it wouldn't be the same thing. They've been terrific. Uh, there's some blood, there's some humor, there's some uh, guts, there's some action. Some, uh, that's pretty much the whole thing in a nutshell. And MJ, you seem to have taken some wasabi peas to remember the set by. We're great. 
Wasabi peas. No wasabi, you get with sushi. Yeah, like Another made into peas. One one. Sure, why not? Oh, it's pretty spicy. Oh, it is. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. You've been terrific. You're welcome. Well, MJ, we want to talk about a few, two things. We actually just we had some free time. We actually went to see um, Bruno. Bruno. And Bruno. wasn't that? A review here. I thought it was really good. Very good. I very mean, the thing is, you may think, oh, how can they top Borat? It topped they Borat. They topped it. And believe me, there's even stuff they had to edit out. There was. I know. I this um, you'd think a lot of points they crossed the line. This like is miles beyond the line. But Sasha, it was so funny though. The He's guy who did it. He has balls of steel. He has them. I know. He. he is, you know, there, no one can ever say well, he he stands back or he should have done that or you know he wasn't. Gutsy enough. No one ever has the right to say that about this Wait guy. Wait a he's going to do a lot of stuff. He really. I know it was. I could not stop laughing. It was so funny. It was basically it, about the continuity was really good too. It was basically about like the the Bruno character. It was, was kind of like, from, like Borat like, in the way, like the way a it little flowed. Because he was like a guy from another country, sort of. Except it wasn't his other country. But the thing Borat, is, with this like, one though, he said was, he's from like um, Austria, and he was like a gay like fashion designer and stuff. And but with this one though. The stuff that was like it was like scripted story, like real acted out movie story, yeah, one thing mixed like, with real stuff. See, with Borat, it was more like camcorder stuff, like it was stuff that was really happening, like and it seemed like it was really happening. No, of course, a lot of it was, but with this, a lot of it was, but it was more like a movie, more like a like a, a set story. I would definitely recommend that, but I do too. We also want to show something interesting. Now, you may say there's a paper here, but look, it's hard paper. This is a real newspaper. This is the Connecticut newspaper. And then look, show, sports, show, all this show stuff. page four. It was pretty cool. Let's see. Horror movie location, dog house. There's a set. Let's see what this uh, received. Uncle Bob is a serial killer who owns a bed and breakfast, and his two sons, played by YouTube stars Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly, both from Maryland, help their father pick up victims. Why don't we take a look a little closer down here so I'm not, you see I'm not just making this up. I don't know if you can see it. Though. Hold on. There it is. Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly. Sure that wasn't too dark? No, everyone can see. All right. Isn't that so interesting? That woman thought we were stars, and the thing is, we're just, you know, lame. No, we're not, MJ. I wouldn't say we were, I wouldn't go that far. MJ, we're just turds. Stay for yourself. But to some people, MJ, we won't flush. Some people hate us, MJ. Well, who would possibly hate us? I don't what, what know. What did we ever do to anybody? I don't know. But all, e any, either way, thank you for the Howard paper for flattering us. Thank you, Harold. Because, you know... I don't know about the, uh, for stars, but I mean, yeah. but either way, yeah. thank you for who, those who watch us. And of course, see Bruno. Five out of five, it was outstanding to see. But, but see Severin first. No, well, Severin's not going to be out until well, like, no, December. You have to see Bruno first. Yeah, but see Severin too. All right. Well, MJ, here we are again at the train station, right? Yep. Going back, and we had a great time out here. Yes, we did. And, um, well, I'll probably show you, like, maybe a minute or so on the train. There's only about two minutes left, so I'm going to stop here, and then maybe we'll see a few shots on the train of what we eat and our snacks. All right. What have you done? Oh, MJ. Oh, yeah, MJ. <laughs> You're too young. I'm 17. I'm a big boy. Mm -hmm. Yummy, my moment. We made it back home, MJ. Yep. How are you doing? Fine. Why are you looking that way? Are you looking at that statue? Yeah. It's considered controversial to some? Yeah. We always see it every time we come back here. 
Fine, MJ, don't look at me. But you want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Hold on, I'll switch to the other side. So, MJ, you want to say goodbye? Take a look. Bye. MJ, look at me. What's going on here? All right, I'll switch to the other side. Come on, MJ, what's going on here? I need you to look at the camera and say goodbye to everybody. Must I always look at you? Fine, I'll go to the other side. Uh, MJ, this is not funny. I want you just to look at the camera and say goodbye. Come on, how hard is it to say goodbye to everybody? This has been a trip. Everyone wants you to say goodbye to them so they can end this video with a goodbye. Fine, I'll go to the other side. MJ, you know what, MJ? I'm just going to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.